A concave spherical mirror is used to focus sunlight to light a match. If the mirror focuses the sun's rays 20 centimeters away from the mirror's surface, what is the radius of this spherical mirror? The sun is very far away. When a light source is very far away, we get parallel rays from it. For example, a light bulb gives off light in all directions. When we stand near the bulb, we would receive light beams from different angles. When we are farther away, we would receive rays with smaller spread angle. Even farther away, the rays we receive would almost be parallel. Because the sun and the moon are very far away, light from the sun or the moon are parallel rays. So if I walk while looking at the ceiling light, the angle to the light would change as I walk because the light is relatively close to me. But you may have had this experience, say on a clear night, you look at the moon while walking. When you walk, the moon would stay at the same angle, which makes you feel like the moon is following you, right? If you have never noticed this, try it the next time you see the moon in the sky. And those light rays parallel to the principal axis will all bend and go to the focal point. So if the light rays get focused 20 centimeters away from the mirror's surface, that means that this distance is 20 centimeters and that is the focal length. So the focal length is 20 centimeters and the focal length of a concave spherical mirror is half the radius. Therefore, the radius must be 40 centimeters. So that's the answer. Another thing is, because light rays are retraceable, if paraxial rays get reflected by the concave mirror and focus at the focal point, a light source such as a bright bulb placed at the focal point would produce reflected light rays that are paraxial. So light rays from the focal point will get reflected and come out parallel to the principal axis. So a bulb placed at the focal point will give us parallel rays coming out.